Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Guilherme Meira, but you can call me G. I am a no-code developer from Brazil, and in this channel, I'm going to show you how I build my apps, and I'm going to help you to build yours. In this first video, I'm going to show you the main tool that I use to build my web apps and some MVP for mobile apps. Stay tuned, and let's go to the screen. Okay, first, let me take my glass. And let's go. The first tool that I'm going to show you is called Bubble.io. Bubble is a visual programming tool where you can build any type of app. When you first start on Bubble, you're going to have here a bunch of tutorials. And at the bottom of the page, you have this button. To create a new app, you click here. And here, it's going to ask you the name of the app, if it's a customer facing app or an employee facing app and why you're going to build this application. So, um, we're going to create a project management tool. So let's put a cool name. Um, cool. Project tool. Uh, need to be um, a unique name because it's going to be a part of your domain. So it's going to be um, employee face app and it, we are just playing around. Even if you click here, uh, what kind of app? It's um, I put for project management and create the app. When you create a new app, Bubble already create a simple page for us here and start the application system. So let's get uh, we are not going to use this page, simple page. So we click here, start with a blank page, and let's get started. So here's going to ask you uh, what name you want to display in the browser tab. We're gonna uh, let this one. It's going to ask you the, the main language of the app. If you want to change the favcon, if you want to start a plugin, you're not going to, to change anything right now. Um, installed API, no, and let's close this. So, here we have seven tabs that have everything we need to build our app. The design tab, where you can create the visual appearance of our app. Here we're going to find uh, visual elements like text and buttons and icons. Here we have containers. With groups, repeating groups, pop ups, some input forms, and here we have reusable elements. So, reusable elements are elements that you can use all over again. So, if you want to create a menu, you can create a reusable element and put the same menu in all of your pages. Here we have the workflow, and here you're going to create the Backend of your app, it's basically the functions that your app needs to have. So if you click here and drag a, a button, we can start and edit, edit a workflow, and it's going to send us to the workflow tab. So here we can give uh, an action for this button. We can sync up a user or go to a, go to a page. Create a new thing on the database I'm going to show you right now. It's basically all the functionality of your app is going to be here. So here, the data tab is where you're going to create your database. Okay, so any information that you need to have on your app, so about the users or the project that you're going to create, uh, we're going to create here first. So we're going to create here first, okay? So here uh, you can create a type, and here you can add a new field to to type that you create. So here we have um, the user, but we're going to create a name field. The type of this field of this field is going to be a text, okay? I'm gonna click create. 
Now we're gonna create um, like a project type. Let me change here. Oh shit, no. Okay, create. And here on project, you can put uh, the name of the project. You can add, um, I don't know, the initial date of the project. And we can put here a date. And we can relate the types. So we're gonna put here the user that are going to work on this project. We are relating this type with the user type. So here we can add a list. So we're gonna have a lot of people working on this project. So we need a place to put more than one user. So we're gonna we're gonna have to to create a list of those users. Okay, so we click here, hit create. Here we have the privacy, you can change the privacy, the app data. Uh, if someone creates a user, it's gonna appear here. The options in the file manager, we can talk about this later. And here we have the style tab. So the style tab, it's uh, where you can create a reusable design for the visual elements. So we, uh, we put that button here. So we can come here, this button, it's a um, primary button. You can come here on styles and look for the style, or you can come here and click add style. You can change um, the background color. So we can put on um, um, green, and we're going to change here too, okay? Here we have the plugins where you can add plugins to, to add more functionalities to your app that you cannot create on directly on Bubble. So you, so here you have others, date pickers or um, Google integrations. We're gonna install here on plugin, okay? Here you have settings. We're gonna set your preferences on for the app. You can change the plan of that, then we're going to talk about this later. We have the general, where you can change the favcom. We have the main language, SEO, API, collaborations, sub apps, and version. I'm going to talk about this later, okay? In another video, probably. So here we have the logs. Here you have um, the usage of your app and all the actions that happen in your app, okay? Okay guys, that's it for today. Now you know everything you need to know about the editor of Bubble to create a real app. In the next video, we are going to start create a real app or project management app so you don't want to lose it. Please hit the subscribe, hit the bell button, and if you like this video, give a thumbs up, okay? So, see you soon guys.